What's good? It's Kev here with KevWestBeats.com. Today I wanted to talk about um, audio compressors. Uh, I've been getting this question a lot in my email about what's the difference between this compressor and that compressor and just what compressors actually do. Um, so I wanted to just go over just compressor knobs and settings, you know, basic mixing stuff and show you guys, you know, or at least tell you what each thing does. Um, what I am going to encourage is that you go into your own DAW or your studio if you're using hardware stuff and actually play with the knobs after watching this video and um, see how it relates to what I'm telling you because the best best way to learn some of this stuff is just to put your hands in it, get your fingers dirty. Um, and for those for those of you guys that I know are somebody's gonna ask because anytime I talk about something that could be done in Reason and VST, someone always asks, show you your reason. So I am gonna go over some Reason compressors too. Um, but first, I wanted to go over some VST guys. This is the um, Focusrite Scarlet Red compressor. Um, very basic compressor. These are just your traditional compressor settings, or um, excuse me, um, types of settings. Um, I'm just going to go over what each knob does. You're going to see, I'm going to go over about five, six different compressors, and you're going to see that, you know, they really are similar and about the same. And the difference between going from compressor to compressor is how that compressor reacts to those settings, which is why it's a good idea sometimes to have more than one. Um, first thing first, ratio. Um, a ratio is actually really simple. How much audio is going in and how much is going out. For example, if I do a two to one ratio on my compressor here it means for every two decibels of audio that's going in one is going out and you can crank that up because again the idea of audio uh, compression is kind of to smash the audio and with this one it just goes to infinite I'm not even sure what the infinite setting does I never go that high um, generally I don't like to go much past beyond five to seven um, to one and what that would mean, say for example, seven decibels coming in of audio and it shoots out one with the um, intention of helping you control and keep your levels even. Um, your threshold is where exactly does your audio compressor kick in? Um, you know, is it going to kick in at zero decibels right away? Is it going to kick in at minus 70? You know, where does the compress, where does it actually start to start compressing your sound? How, um, at what audio level um, and of course you have your actual input on decibels you know how much audio you're driving into there and your output how much audio you make I guess this is more like makeup gain after you have um, <clears throat> essentially what compression actually does is it turns your audio down so makeup gain actually pushes it back up a little bit and now um, the makeup gain says, okay, now that I've lost this, let's turn it back up so it's a more respectable level. Attack how fast the compression actually kicks in. How fast does it start to compress? And release how fast does it stop compressing? Because you don't want it to compress every little thing that goes into there traditionally. Most people nowadays just turn right up, turn it on right away and never turn it off and treat it like a big audio um, or volume knob. Um, which I guess work for today's music but traditionally you would you only wanted to use compression gently to help basically control um, loud and quiet volumes for example with a live drummer um, you know you're not we're gonna hit the drum the, the exact same velocity so now of course you know with MIDI editing we have velocity settings we'll just turn it down or we have automation so we can automate that down compression in this sense what I'm talking about was the replacement for those things before they were to be. Okay, so that's the Scarlet compressor. This is the basic compressor that I'm going to actually build everything else around. Um, the next thing, which is my favorite compressor that I use, uh, the t rex Classic Compressor. And you're gonna see a lot of the same things here. Your ratio, your input, makeup gain, or your output. <laughs> your release, your attack, but there are some different things here. Your stereo enhancement, you know, uh, how big, how much bigger is your stereo field? Um, your side chain and high, uh, high pass uh, filter. You know, just a couple different added features here, like I said. So how does this compressor handle audio differently from the other one? 
and um, really the difference is in this um, high pass filter on the side chain and the stereo enhancer. I don't use those two things much. Uh, I actually I just like how this compressor handles audio, particularly on drums um, and bass. Next we have the um, British MCL 2269. Um, it's a compressor limiter. It's um, based on a British um, console. I don't remember exactly what console. I want to say it's a Neve, but I, I honestly don't remember. Um, I just like it. Um, and what's cool about this one is, like I said, you have your compression and your limiting in one side. So up here, this is just your inputs, your output, like normal. And then you go down to the lower half. The left side is all a limiter, but we're not talking about limiting today, so I'm not going to talk about that. And then we have your compression on the right-hand side. And you turn your compressor on. You have your threshold here, just like anywhere else. Your ratios, same ratios. And your recovery would be the um, release. So again, it's either different compressors they're about the same but they have different features and that also makes each compressor unique um lastly as far as my vsts go i'm talking about the new york compressor um by ddmf um independent designer i've had this compressor and i think this is the original version i've heard he's updated it but i haven't updated my version um for no real reason in particular i just haven't and what's cool about this compressor is again, see, so you see you have the gain here, you even have a wet dry knob. So how much um, does the compressor actually kick in on the, on the audio? So if you want to use it, say, on a um, send or return, that's kind of cool. Um, you still have your same ratio, attack release, threshold. You make a gain like anything else. And you have your uh, and you have actually a Q link and a frequency here too. So if you want to compress just a certain frequency, that's really cool. You can do that there too, and that's awesome. I love that uh, feature there. Um, you know, and that it makes this compressor a little unique because, again, as you saw with the other three compressors, not every compressor does that. Now on to my Reason compressors. I'm going to talk about the um, not the Master Bus because the Master Bus. I can talk about the Master Bus. It's the same as all the others. You still have your threshold, your ratios, two to one, four to one, ten to one. Your attack, release, makeup, game. Same, same stuff. Um, that's I say. You know, most compressors is not that they're the same. Is that they handle audio differently. Um, they have different um, what's the word features. You know, so don't get intimidated when you see a new compressor. Um, here's a diff here's the channel strip compressor, the one I was actually going to talk about. Again, your ratio, your threshold, your release. Um, this one's a little more um, predefined, I would say. You have a peak setting here, which basically says, you know, okay, we're going to, it's almost like a limiter, we're going to peak you off at a certain point. Uh, you have your fast attack on if you want to choose a fast attack, otherwise it has a predetermined attack. Um, it's, a, it's, it's all about the same thing. It's just a matter of understanding compression, and that's what I think um, more people should do. And that's why I say play with your knobs, and you will understand what compressors really do. Um, last compressor I'm gonna talk about the M class compressor and reason. Or actually, I'm gonna talk. I'm gonna talk about the original compressor and reason too, the little fray box, um, because not too many people use that. The Compo One, I, I still like it. Um, but let's talk about the M class first. And you have this again your in, input gain. Your threshold, your ratio, like everything else. You have a sidechain compression um, deal in here, which is cool. It can be triggered with other instruments. Um, my other compressors don't have that. And then again, your attack, your release, your output gain, makeup gain. Same difference. Now, the thing that's cool about the Compo 1 is a lot of it's predefined. It's very different from the other compressors I was talking about. For example, it doesn't have makeup gain. It doesn't have any makeup gain at all. Um, what it has is your ratio, your threshold, attack, and release. And it actually has the auto makeup gain um, to keep you, it's supposed to help you from over compressing, but I don't know, when I used to use it before the M class came out, I over compressed everything. <laughs> I did not know how to use compression. Nobody walked me through this and told me this kind of how I'm doing now. Um, and that's why I wanted to kind of go over this, you know, because like I said, I am getting people emailing me and I'm getting a lot of questions about different compressors and how they vary from here and there and like I said all compressors are really about the same I don't think I have any other compressors in reason to show you no I don't have anything else in reason that I can um, show you as an example 
Um, it's like I said, compressor is a compressor is a compressor. Um, the important thing is to understand what the knobs do and take advantage of the unique features that every um, compressor offers. Anyway, I hope this helps somebody out. Uh, please thumbs up the video if you like it. Please comment, rate, and subscribe. I will see you guys next time. Check out KevWestBeats.com. If you want to network me or ask any questions, my contact information is in the description below. Thanks for watching. Catch you guys next time.